Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. School is going to be starting soon, and when it does, so does the cold and flu season. So how do we keep ourselves and our children healthy this year without the use of so many over-the-counter medications? Well, Carolina King from the blog Mama Instincts is here to help us how. Welcome back to the show, Carolina. Thank you for having me. So tell me how old your kids are. They are three and six. Three, okay, so that's prime, wiping the nose with your yeah. hands. <laughs> yes, Age and I feel like the first year they went to school, their whole class was sick, like, very frequently. Right, so what do you do? Because, you know, kid, when kids are that small, you, you think twice about just giving them any old over-the-counter medication. Yeah, so I've never given my kids any over-the-counter medication because really? I don't like it. So I try the natural thing first. If something doesn't work, then you consult with your doctor. But my favorite thing for the cold and for the cold season, which I don't know if you knew, but or like according to the CDC, 22 million school days are lost annually because of the common cold. Wow. I believe it. I believe it. So right. my favorite thing for the cold or when everybody's like getting sick and your kids are not sick yet, but you're getting those emails from the school is black elderberry. Hmm. So black elderberry has a component called flavonoids, which are, um, you know, here in the pigment of the black elderberry and they boost your immune system. So I, we take this every day when school starts, when people are sick, we, we take it like twice a day. You can always consult with your doctor and always check the labels. But what I like about Sambuco, which is my, favorite, my preference, is that they use the whole black elderberry extract and they use the black elderberry that has been clinically studied to proven that it helps to boost your immune system and fight a common cold. Wow, that's interesting. And I gotta give you a little trick, a little trick. So, you know, it comes in liquid form. And so my husband and I take the liquid form, but my kids love the gummies. And so when kids are sick in school, I just put them in their lunch because they're, you know, they're basically a berry juice that it boosts your immune system, so it's safe to send to school, and they're also the pectin-based, so good for vegetarian and vegan people. And kids may just think it's a fruit snack that you yeah. put in their lunch. I don't so. think my kids realize this is a supplement. I'm just I like, oh, it. would you like some black elderberry gummies? And they're like, yes. Okay, I'm just going to say gummies. I'm <laughs> yeah. going to leave out the black elderberry. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have here? So honey. Okay, so you know, with kids, they get a sore throat, they start coughing, and honey is great to coat your throat and to help speed the healing so you have to give honey to kids one year and up so i wouldn't do it to little kids but you just give you just grab buckwheat honey buckwheat honey is the best and then you just give, grab a teaspoon and then you just let them eat it there are like sprays that you can put on your throat but um, they don't work well with my kids <laughs> They like the honey, it's sweet, it tastes good. And then as your kids get older, you could maybe make a little ginger tea and lemon or lime and add it, add a little bit of honey and just kind of have like a tea drink. What, what is this in here? Is this it's a like honeycomb. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so look for that and then you know it's closer to all natural than anything yeah. else. Yes, or you just look for buckwheat honey, try to, you know, always try to get organic if you can. And nice. it's very simple. What's this? Usually we, we eat oatmeal, but you have yeah. some other uses we, for we it. We have other uses yeah. for it. So, you know, um, my little one gets a lot of skin rashes especially when school starts so how we deal with this is with colloidal oatmeal which this is what it looks like and it's just um, whole oats not breakfast oatmeal not instant oatmeal so you can just buy the colloidal oatmeal or I just put it in my food processor I actually made this last night and then you just grind it and then you put two cups in a tub of warm water you don't want to put hot water because it dries out their skin and just let them soak in it play in it you know just like a normal bath time and then if their skin, you know, if their rash is pretty bad, you can then put like your lotion of preference or I like to use aloe vera. So we'll just cut out, you know, this little plant and put the gel on their skin. And this we make is a it real fun. aloe vera plant. Nice. It is. I keep it in my kitchen and I use it so much. It's great for your skin. Now, I haven't put on a mosquito bite here. We're running out yes. of time, but I want to get to something that's going to keep all of the girls yes. on schedule, shall we say? So I love this. This is sun fiber and it's a soluble fiber supplement. It's actually in this water and it's, it's tasteless and it doesn't change the structure of your water. And it's great for if you have constipation or diarrhea, great for little kids that are going to school and have trouble using the potty in school so because it doesn't change the texture and it's flavorless I actually give this one to my kids which is a sun fiber but with probiotics I put it in the water every morning they have no idea <laughs> it and doesn't leave a taste it doesn't leave a taste and they go to the bathroom regularly and we don't have to deal with chronic constipation throughout the year. Carolina King, you are a organic, natural <laughs> mama godsend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We'll be back with more Great Day after this.